Hello and welcome back to SV Plan Maintenance Training. This is Farooq from QBRP. Uh, in the today's session, we are going to see how to create notifications directly. Uh, this is general notification, and uh, we are also going to look at breakdown notification. So let's create a notification. The transaction code to create a notification is IW21. So what is my IW21? I give notification type as we did in the last time notification type is M1 at the request press enter so let's say checking check the pump check the pump functional location so where is the functional location of my equipment this is the functional location equipment this is the equipment work center and press enter so once I press enter it will pick up the planning plant so everything has been uh, picked up Oh, and next, let's see what else we can do description give the detail what has to be done so I'm giving it uh, say check the pump for oil leakage so this is what the work we need to do so once this is done I don't need anything else to be added here I will just save this one so once I save I get a notification number so a notification has been generated so a notification has been saved so now I can go into notification change update checking has been done no leakage found so as you can see I mean every maintenance activity that is being done a record is being kept by the system by date time who has done it who, who reported it who was a technician assigned to check who did the activity so everything is done everything is I mean everything is kept as a record so it has been notification has now been completed so the other part that we can do is I mean we can sometime what can happen is a malfunction has been happening or a breakdown has happened so which means that equipment again has to be So breakdown has happened to machinery, so which now, which for which we now need a breakdown notification to get it uh, repaired and may have it running again. So again, we go to the same transaction IW21. I can go from here notification create general notification type. So the notification type is now M2. M2 is a malfunction report. So what I will say is PUM is not working. PUM is not working, the function location, the equipment and the main maintenance work center, main work center. So we are given in the notification tab what we have done is we have given all the data then provided the function location equipment work center and once we are here in the malfunction you can see if you go down check why pump is not working and repair 
So, once we have uh, selected M2 type, so we get some additional data at the bottom which is say breakdown, breakdown it is saying when it started, when it's when it finished, how many hours of breakdown was there. So, now let, let me if I can just save it. So, a notification has been created, I will go back into the notification change. So, I will go back here. Well, let us say C leakage has been repaired, C replaced and oil filled. Uh, uh, this activity is already here in a notification, so we will just go down here. Let us say it was on the same date 0705.15. Uh, it started at 1600 hours, so we may be in 1800 hours we finished. Breakdown duration. So, it has calculated the number of hours it was in the system, the pump was not available. So, I will just say it has been now completed. And then, which is so this now it is finished. So, that is how we can create a general notification and then also break down notification and then complete them. So, that is about it for this session, and in the next session, we will look at how. Uh, the other strategy parts. Thank you and see you in the next one.